Hi Orange County, Samantha Dekoff, Soka Real Estate. This is part two of the information I'm going to provide to you on termite inspections, reports, and repairs. In the other video that I had prior to this one, we had established that section one is a current infestation. Section two is something that if not addressed in the immediate future, it's going to become a problem in regards to the wood on your house. And so those two categories, section one or section two, um, everything will be notated on the report that the termite inspector generates. It's either a section one or section two item. Um, what I want to talk about, I think, is uh, after you have that general understanding of the termite report is the conflict of interest that is overriding in the termite industry. I'm not going to make any friends among termite inspectors for saying this, but uh, I want all the sellers and all the buyers out there to be aware of what you're up against and take some steps in order to protect yourself and your pocketbook. Um, so here's the lay of the land. When a termite inspector takes a look and inspects your property, they flag, you know, flag things. They will say, oh, the fascia, you know, has uh, termite damage. Um, you know, we have some areas in the attic that show infestations. We're going to spray locally with some fumigate. Whatever the problems might be, who does that, uh, I would say 95% of the time, uh, the lazier of the seller's agents, you know, representing the seller, they will simply have that termite company do those repairs. And that is a major, major, huge thing that I almost never do because they are, they're, they're flagging problems that their own company is going to fix. And um, I have saved my clients about 40 to 50 percent, anywhere 30 to 50 percent in general of whatever the bid come back, comes back from the termite company. Um, I have a contractor, a couple that I use, um, do the same work that the termite company would have done to remedy the problems, but using an outside contractor, I have them do the work. Then I have the termite company come back for a reinspection, what needs to be done no matter who does the work, and they certify that it's termite free. And you just save so much money, and you are really doing your clients a disservice. Uh, I guess I want the sellers to know about this. Uh, you should have your listing agent certainly do a termite inspection by whatever company they think is reputable. But if there is woodwork to be done, get bids please get bids because I would say a hundred percent of the time I've gotten a bid on work to be done the con the outside contractor not the termite company but the outside contractor has been cheaper and you can literally save thousands of dollars depending on the scope of repairs that would be needed in your house so that is the tip of the day in regards to termite inspection if you have any questions or want to drop me a line I'm on Twitter at Realtor Samantha or hit me up on my website, socohomesforsale.com. See you later.